What goes into a contract review? Well, first it needs to be understood what a contract is. A contract is simply this. It's the document that governs the relationship between two or more parties. However, first we need to take into account what else governs the relationship between these parties. In other words, the law, uh, there are statutes or common law that also govern the relationship between two or more parties. For example, um, in an employer-employee relationship, the parties, the employee and employer, cannot agree for the employee to accept less than the minimum wage. That would be illegal and that term is not enforceable in the court of law. So even though the parties agree to something, it doesn't mean it's enforceable. So when I review a contract, I'm not simply reviewing the words on the paper, I'm also reviewing the overall relationship beyond the paper. What does the law dictate? How do the courts view these types of relationships? What terms are enforceable or not enforceable? So there is a lot of outside research that goes beyond just reading the words on the paper. You have to understand a lot of the law that goes around that relationship as well. Now, beyond that, there are certain aspects of a relationship that cannot be governed by a contract at all. And so I also advise my clients, hey, look, no matter what you put in this contract, no matter what the law says, you still may be liable for X, Y, Z. So here are the actions that you could take to protect yourself in the event that this contract cannot help you. So again, so what really goes into a contract is one, reviewing the existing terms, the changing or removing terms that are there that should not be there, and doing the research to add terms that should be there, and then advising my client as to the factors beyond the relationship.